The vacation tracking template calculates your vacation, sick leave, and personal leave as you accrue it and use it. To start out, you'll need to choose which worksheet to use, and this depends on how often you accrue vacation. For this example, we assume you accumulate vacation and other benefits every two weeks, so you would use the weekly tab. If your accrual is monthly or semi-monthly, or if it accumulates based on the number of hours you work, you would choose one of the other tabs. I recommend making a copy of the tab you use so you always have an unaltered original version. You can name your new tab and then enter the name of the company and your own name or the employee's name if you're filling this out for someone else. Next, you want to set up this sheet so you can use it for the whole year. You'll want to find out how many hours you get each year for sick leave, personal time, and vacation. Next, you will enter the date that the first pay period starts. This will usually be the start of your company's fiscal year, but if this is your first year at the company, this would be the beginning of your first pay period. Next, you will specify the number of weeks every pay period. In this example, you get a paycheck every two weeks. The worksheet calculates how many hours of each benefit you accumulate every pay period. Your policy may set a limit for the maximum amount of leave you can hold at any given time. For this example, your personal leave is unlimited, but you are capped at 20 hours of sick leave and 120 hours of vacation at any time. If you carried over extra hours from the previous year, you can enter those in the beginning balances. Each pay period, you will earn sick personal and vacation hours, and the total hours you have accumulated will increase. As you take time off, you will enter the number of hours you used in the corresponding column. At the end of each pay period, you can see your cumulative amount of leave in each category. If you reach the maximum amount of leave in a category, you will stop earning that benefit until you take time off. If you are a new employee, you may not accrue benefits until you've been working for a few months. If that's the case, you can just delete the values in the earned column until you start accruing benefits. You're always welcome to manually enter the amount you earn each pay period if you need to override the calculation for any reason. When a new year starts, or if your benefits change at any time, it's easiest to just start fresh by creating a new tab and entering the updated hours for each benefit, as well as the new start date and carryover balances. If you're a manager, you can make a separate sheet for each of your employees. You'll just update their name, any differences in their benefits policy, and their beginning balance. With this vacation accrual template, you can track your time with confidence to know where you stand with your benefits.